Don't take this video as your sign that you need to go spend money that you weren't going to spend. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mopi. It has been a long time since I've been on camera. In fact, I don't think I've been on camera for at least four weeks. At least four weeks. It's been so long. Um, so much, so much has been going on in life. Um, but you know, I feel like I'm finally getting to a place where I'm comfortable being on camera again. You know, I, I, I don't know how to fake the funk. Like if I'm not good, I'm not good. I don't know how to, you know, make myself like, you know, light up a camera or like, you know, be happy and, you know, exude like positive energy on camera. I just don't know how to do it. So because I haven't been, you know, a hundred percent, I kind of haven't wanted to be on camera haven't wanted to be on camera. I actually love doing this. So like whenever I don't record for like a few weeks, I'm just like, Ugh. like I don't like it. And every week I'm like, I can't believe another week is going by and I'm not gonna post the video. So I'm kind of happy. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and dive right into this video. The first thing that I wanna talk about is this Sephora brush. My makeup brushes I got from Target and I've had them for forever now um, so it's kind of time it's time to let them go so the first item is the brush this is a 10 piece um, brush I love it because it has this like bag that I feel like you can kind of travel with I love that it tells me what type of brush it is because sometimes like I don't know what the brushes are supposed to be for so I just end up kind of like interchanging a lot of my brushes which I mean I'm sure there's no really against that but I I always like when brushes tell me what they're supposed to be. I love the feel, so it feels like denim. So that's pretty, it's like pretty amazing. But anyway, moving on to the next item. So the next thing that I picked up from Sephora is this perfume. I'm not a huge, I don't know the notes on perfumes. I really don't. So it's very difficult for me to describe it. For me, a perfume either smells nice or it doesn't. Um, this one smells nice. Like, I feel like this will be like a nice spring smell. But it does, I mean, it does kind of hold its own though. Like, it, it holds its scent. It's just hard for me because, you know, like, um, with like Baccarat Rouge or one of those perfumes, you can clearly, it's a very distinct um, smell. You know it. Once you smell it, you know that's what it is. I don't think this has that. It's a nice perfume. It's, it smells really nice. It's, I think it smells, it, it does have that apple like it calls itself like apple brandy and it's like i can smell the apple on it so it's sweeter a little like it has like it's a little deeper right it has like a deep scent to it i just don't think it's that like domineering to where you know someone is walking by you're like oh you have an apple brandy i don't think it it's like that it, you can't tell what the person has on you just know that they probably smell nice the next thing that i picked up um was the laura mercier um honey translucent translucent setting powder um i this is what i currently use to set my makeup um since I discovered Laura Mercier, I just kind of stuck with it. Um, it's nice. I mean, I don't know. I feel like there's so many reviews about this. It's really warm. I really like it. So I just kind of keep using it. The one that I currently have is almost out. For me, this is an item where like I was going to buy it anyway. So why not just buy it when there's a sale? The perfume, I can like really smell it now. It smells really, really good actually. I like it. So moving on to the next item. This is the Innis. I don't know how you say it. I think it's Innis Free. It sounds like something that you definitely pick up at Duty Free. And I'm trying this for the first time. I've actually never tried this. But I ran out of my um, Good Molecules like Hyaluronic Acid. So I figured um, I might as well try, take, you know, now that I'm in between products, I might as well try something new. new and that's why I'm trying this out. Um, the reviews on Sephora looked really, really good. So I'm very excited to see how it works with my skin. Hydration is like a huge, huge, huge part of my skincare routine. Even every time I moisturize, I will use like a hydrator. I know a lot of people confuse like hydration with being moisturized, but they're two different things. So most times when I'm doing nothing to my face, I just wash my face in the morning, use a hydrator, and I will use my um, moisturizer. 
and that's it, and sunscreen, and then that's it. Um, so, very happy to be trying this one. I think this will be good. I don't know, we'll find out. The next thing that I have is this mascara. I've literally had the same mascara for like five years, and you know, I figured like since I'm an adult now, I might as well like do adult things, and mascara just seems to be an adult thing, you know? So I decided to ditch my Walmart mascara and try something new. I've never used this one, but the reviews are really, really good. I don't watch a lot of like makeup YouTube videos, so I don't even know what the girls are using these days. I need to find like one of those UK girls so I can just steal their products because you know, like the UK girls do makeup, they do makeup differently. Like, I don't know what's in their water, but whatever is in their water translates into their makeup and I'm here for it. So I need to find someone. If you know anyone, please leave a comment with their name in the comment section below. Um, on the website, whenever I was purchasing all these things, I kind of ranked by um, by the reviews. So the highest reviews came up first and these like, the reviews on this one seemed pretty good. So I was like, I might as well try it out. All right, so the next thing that we are talking about is this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. When I tell you that I'm obsessed, believe me, I am obsessed. This, it's so gorgeous. It looks like a seashell. Yeah, it looks like a seashell and like the lines and it just feels very like sleek. Feels like you paid a lot of money for it. I feel like I probably did, but I don't remember how much I paid for it now. The color is just so gorgeous. Like the feel, it, it just, I don't know. It, it feels like so like, natural and like effortless and it's like it just kind of i feel like it covers your pores and all of that it's just really gorgeous it's like such a well-made product and i love it so much um i've used it a, few, a couple of times and I, I like it i really really like it i like this this is such a great bronzer like i just love it it just like it's like airbrush like it's like literally it just goes on so smoothly and like contours your face and it just makes your face feel like you don't have pores, kind of just hides it. I don't know, I like it. I really, really, I mean, it doesn't smell like anything, but I'm obsessed with it. I feel like after every single item, I'm gonna talk about this perfume, okay? I'm gonna talk about this perfume because I mistakenly sprayed it on my palm and it's like, it's so good. It is so, you know, like, okay, so the comment I made earlier about you're not gonna know it's it's a Killian perfume. That does not mean, this is a great smell, it's an amazing. It's an amazing smell. Like it smells really, really good. It smells pretty and it smells light and it just, it's it's cute. It's such a cute fragrance and it's still there. So it's like, I, I don't know, I like it so much. I like it. Okay, so moving on to the next item. <laughs> All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina collection. I don't know why I ended up with such a purple palette because I've been staying away from color lately, but this is such a cute palette to me because like, again, it's very purple. I think that's like the overarching like color is like, it's a purple pal palette. You, you know, you have like your glitter purple, you have like your matte purple, you also have like the darker colors. It's a really, really cute palette. It just feels very like sleek and well made. Um, once you open it, I feel like the, um, the lock is like magnetic. Um, and it's huge. I didn't realize this when I got this palette because I've never seen or heard anything about it. I just wanted to try a new palette and I got it, but I didn't expect it to be this big. I expected it to be like a smaller palette, but it, it's huge. It is, it's big. I'm going to have this thing forever. There's like this silver color over here. I'm probably never, ever going to wear that. But there's also, um, in the same breath, this like this purple over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a shimmery, like glitter purple. I'm definitely gonna use that. Like if I ever wanted to use like, do like a purple look, I mean, this is just pretty and perfect for it. And then there's like all these like darker um, um, crease colors that I would definitely use. So um, I think I'll get a good use out of it. Okay, so the next item that we're gonna talk about is this um, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I feel like I've been sleeping on Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know why. I don't know. I think her name kind of threw me off. But um, now <laughs> I'm like full on because I have a lip liner. I have a couple of things from her. A few things actually from her. But this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party All Night Stay All Day and I was sold. 
because y'all know i've said this so many times i'm very oily i get oily in my t-zone so i love a setting spray i, would, I actually kind of shop around for um setting sprays a lot just because i know that i actually need it so i'm excited i haven't tried this one out yet before but i've never tried this one before so i'm excited to try this um yeah and on the back it says no melting no fading no creasing i feel like that is a huge huge promise to make and i expect it to deliver <sighs> guys if you are a perfume person you need this it's so it's so good like every time i mistakenly smell it i feel like i have to talk about it because it's it's that good i like i really really like it oh it smells so cute this one is um, a 3.3 ounce um setting spray so it's pretty it's it's a lot i'm really hoping this works because i feel like it's a huge bottle for it not to work because I'm gonna have to stay with it until I finish it because I'm not gonna buy a new one until I finish this. And if it doesn't work, that means I'll be stuck using terrible ass setting spray until I run out of a 3.3 ounce uh, setting spray. So I'm hoping the reviews didn't lie and like the promise on the, you know, on the packaging didn't lie as well. Pray for me. Moving on to the next item. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna talk about is this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I've heard so many things about this. I feel like people like this, but here's the thing. In my experience, when people are hyping things up, it never really works for me that well. I mean, some things do, some things don't. Um, so, which now that I'm thinking about this, I should have done the same for the primer, but no, for the um, setting spray. But for this, I got like the trial size. This is a small size. This one is a 0 0.3, 0 0.33 ounce um, size, which is fine, right? Because I'm, because I'm trying it out for the first, because I'm trying it out for the first time. So I want to give myself time to like try it. So that way, if I don't like it, like I don't like it. Um, I currently use like the Becca, this, this one, the Becca, um, Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. I don't like it. And people swear by this primer. They're like, oh, you know, if you use it, your makeup is not going anywhere. It's not true, right? For me, at least for me, it it just didn't, it didn't do that. So I hope this one works. Um, so yeah, we will, we will see. Um, I like the packaging though, it's really cute. Um, and I like that the name is Milk. I don't know, what an odd name. Moving on to the next thing. Okay, so the next items that I have to talk about, I actually bought with my reward points. I think I have like 4,000 points. And I'm just like, what is going on here? Like, this is my sign that I've spent way too much with Sephora and I need to cut that. So I got this Pharmacy Green Queen Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. So I, I've talked about this before. So right now what I use is, um, I'll use like a cleansing oil to kind of take off my makeup before a while. So I kind of wanted to try an actual like cleansing balm because I've never used any, I've never used a cleansing balm before. So I was interested to see how that work um, compared, like how that works in comparison to like my makeup oil is that I oil removers that I normally use. I, you know, I got this little like size. So this is like the trial one. So if this is good, I'll just end up purchasing like the main thing. And then for, with my points, I also got that Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. It smells exactly like the cleanser actually. Yeah, so this moisturizer kind of smells like the cleanser. I was not a fan of the smell of the cleanser. Um, but you know, I'll try this out and I'll see if I like the consistency and all of that. Already, um, it looks very light. So, I mean, that might be a good thing. Um, but it's also deep hydration, so that, that's gotta be good for something, but I'm gonna try that out. I also picked up um, a couple of scrunchies with my points. Um, I don't even know if this thing can go around my hair. Oh yeah, it should be able to. So I picked um, up this scrunchie. I don't know. It's not like noteworthy or anything. It's just two um, scrunchies in a pack um, and they're satin scrunchies as well. So, you know, that's, that's better for your hair. So I wanted to get that. And I also got a sample of this Kate Somerville 
um, exfoli exfoliate cleanser. So it's an exfoliating cleanser. But yes, that brings us to the end of the video, guys. Those are all the items that I purchased during this, the 2021 VIB um, Sephora VIB sale. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if this is your second, third, fourth, you know, you know all of that. And you still haven't subscribed. What are you doing?